Welcome to my Christmas tour. Now, before I go on, I have a little disclaimer. I have a low clutter threshold, but you might be surprised to know I have three Christmas trees. I will get into that in just a second. If this is your first time here, my name is Robin. I help overwhelm people to clutter all of the excess from their lives so that they can start living them. Now, I love Christmas and I love everything about it. Why do we have three Christmas trees? We live on the side of a mountain. It's really dark. We live on Vancouver Island in Canada, which can be quite dark, even though we're still very south in Canada. However, it's 2.20 and it is pretty dark in here. That window, it's actually even darker than that. It just looks like that because of the camera setting. I was waiting for a good time to shoot and I was kind of shocked at how early I was able to because the sun is down behind the mountain. So we have three beautiful trees, but I like to keep them decorated pretty minimally. This one is actually the most decorated of my trees. Now, I like to call this the gold, silver, and white tree for obvious reasons. Now, I've got a sequin topper on it, and I try to keep my Christmas decorations pretty minimal. I pretty much just like to replace the stuff that I put out with my Christmas decorations, with the exception of the trees. So, I put the trees out, as a source of light, but also I really love Christmas. You only live once and I really want to enjoy it as much as I possibly can. I really feel like they give a cozy atmosphere at this time of year. So for this tree, I just have it decorated with gold, silver, and white things so that it doesn't look too garish. It doesn't overwhelm the eye. When I initially decorated it, I put on the beads and funny enough, it just seemed too cluttered with just the beads. So then I put on this beautiful ribbon, which is like a nice burlap ribbon with a little bit of like a gold thread through it. That's to me actually seemed to tone it down. You let me know what you think. It also ties in really nicely with the um, tree skirt that I made out of burlap, which really is just a couple of burlap sacks wrapped uh, base there and I think it really number one it ties it in together it kind of isn't that different from the color of the floor and it really kind of just isn't too much for the eye to take in and this tree like all of my trees have some sentimental ornaments this is one my husband and I got when we went on a trip to Disneyland just before we got married this is one of my little baby um, that he got from daycare when he was little and there's even one from my childhood and my dad's from his so I like to keep it pretty minimal this one might look a little much it kind of looks a little much to me sometimes but this is the brightest room in the house and it kind of goes pretty well so next to it i just put a couple of gnomes that's it the rest of it i think it's a kind of a simple looking corner and i love christmas i mean i love to decorate but i do have a low threshold for clutter so i'm going to show you the rest of the house and you're going to see a few themes you're going to see like colors together i don't want them too separated and you'll see why but if I keep sort of like the reds together and the whites together, it's not too much. It's not like overstimulating because ultimately I don't want to overstimulate my eye. Christmas, as much as I love it, can be a crazy time of year and I just want it to be calm. So I will also show you evening shots of these as well. So this particular sideboard, I love it. It is beautiful. It's great, especially to display Christmas things. I actually asked a fellow to make it because I knew I needed a piece of furniture like this in here. And so I had him uh, make it with this raised part here, which is removable, but I wanted to be able to display some nice things to give me that cozy feel without being like super cluttered and overwhelming. So I took down my normal decorations and I put up these things. And you'll see that I keep the red things sort of clustered in this area so it's not too overwhelming to the eye. I've got my little countdown calendar and yes, it is a little bit early, but that's okay, right? Um, and then these beautiful little felt guys and that, I love those guys, they just, it just takes me back to a great place. And then over there, I've sort of got like my Christmas tree lane and you know, a cute little thing about Santa. So this is just a really nice cozy extension of the light dining room. I don't wanna say it's my favorite time of the year, but I really love Christmas. You only live once, you only have a certain number of Christmases. And for me, I really want to enjoy it. So this is my living room. 
This is where our family spends the most of our time. Now, it's actually not that big of a room considering the size of the house. And this tree in particular, I used to keep it way, way, way over decorated compared to what we do now. In the past, I had giant balls, I had little balls. I actually just decluttered almost all of my Christmas balls this year. And we used to have strings of garland, we used to have strings of beads, ornaments everywhere. Like I said, all of the balls, it was a lot. And you know, it was a pretty tree, but it brought a lot to the space. Now with this particular tree, we only have ornaments on it. And pretty much all of the ornaments have some kind of sentimental meaning. Now I have ornaments here from vacations we took. If we go to on a vacation, we try to get an ornament. So this one is from, we went to Disneyland. This, I got my kids. Uh, a special little snowman kind of s'mores guy. And I have a few of those, one for each kid. And I also have my beautiful Hogwarts ornament that I love so much. The song is kind of long. Okay, so I also have things from like baby's first Christmas, my husband's and mine first Christmas together. So this tree has a lot. There's even a couple from my first Christmas way back in 1979, back in the Stone Ages. So this tree in particular, I'm very happy with now. It has the burlap as a tree skirt, of course. Bookshelf is actually one of my biggest stressors. And I think that for me, even in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not in love with it. And I have mentioned this in videos past, but we have my husband's Volkswagen Lego sets and a few other things that the family really like. And so for now, we're going to keep this up and I'll show you where we re relocated those guys. But in the meantime, what I have done on this shelf is over here. So my goal overall with this whole thing was to have as not too many colors because I feel like when you have too many colors, that is when it is too much for the eye. So in this case, I just had that nice merry and bright sign, which is actually pretty mild. And then I have this really cute little TV. It used to light up. I think it needs new batteries. So this one, it doesn't exactly go, but I like it. it the sound, the wit, the style of the music, it really takes me back to my childhood. I'm not trying to relive my childhood, but just certain things you just really reminds you of going to Auntie Arda's house, okay? And then of course, lots of gnomes. Now, one of my viewers recommended turning around the book so that the colors weren't too in your face. And I have done that and I think I like it. Um, we left up, we put away most of our normal decor, but I did leave up this otter because there's something about um, the sea life that still reminds me I'm on an island. And even when it's Christmas, we still have our sea life. This sweet little um, reindeer, she is covering up our router. So I like that. Normally there is a sailboat there. So the lighting is gonna be weird and that is part of why we have the Christmas trees because we need so much light here on the side of the mountain. Um, so up here is where we normally have our Lego um, cars, but I thought it would be great to put my willow tree nativity up here because it's nice neutral color. It's beautiful, it keeps you know, the whole reason for Christmas right at the center for us. And I really love that. So instead of what we had before, which was a lot of the reds and the reds just jump at your eyes. So that's why I kind of like to cluster reds together. And in here it's nice because the nice neutral color, it's not jumping out at you. More of the gray gnomes because you know I love gnomes. When I was a kid, I always loved to play with these pretty ugly gnomes, but it really just takes me back. So. If you're interested in why, you can head over to my Christmas decluttering video. I explain the whole gnome thing. My whole goal is not to overstimulate myself. And then this is another nativity. You know, I kind of play around with like where I want things. I've got the angel and the sheep there. It's, you know, I like it, I like it. And then we have the shark. And at the bottom, we have the books. So again, the shark, just part of the normal decor. These little guys, again, more little gnomes, I love them. This is the sleigh I almost declutter. For now, I'm going to keep it because of these gnomes. <laughs> So this table in our living room, you know, I have my gorgeous EJ Hughes picture, and then I've got these two 
nutcrackers and I really like them. This is sort of like the nutcracker area. Down here we have a toy train that my grandma gave me. It used to be hers. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Initially I had it up on the bookshelf and I didn't like it there. It was just too much. And then over here is the Santa section. I can't, I can't lie. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of Santa decor at Christmas. To me, it's just too much. It's too red. I really like more simple things. I usually put out greenery. I just tend to wait a little later in the year. I'll probably post maybe a video or some pictures on Instagram or in our Facebook group about that. But for now, I just have three here. They're all annoying. They all make some kind of noise. My kids love them, so I have to leave them. One of them looks like he's drunk. So what are you gonna do? And in our bedroom, I have the three Lego Volkswagen sets and they look so cute up here. And over here, I have just the bug and the tree. And to me, it really just has a great sort of California vibe kind of to it. Probably my favorite tree. It's kind of funny because it's just a skinny tree that we stuck in the foyer. Don't mind the echo. <laughs> We're in my foyer that has a, a tall ceiling, but I love it. I bought it at Michael's. It was super inexpensive. And we have these beautiful ornaments here. And you know, every tree has some sentimental things. This one has sentimental things, but mostly just really fun things. So I've got like the food ornaments and I have a few gnomes. You know, I love the gnomes. This particular gnome, I love him. I'm trying to figure out how to help him stand out more because he needs to stand out. And then I also just have the um, beautiful sort of like burlap, ribbon with a bit of the sparkle in it and this beautiful red beading and then I have that nice angel up top that pumpkin seed the naughty kitty was actually reaching at through the um, railing there but this tree I just love it because when you walk by it it's just that little bit of light so even after Christmas sometimes we will just take the decorations off and just leave the tree up and maybe one or two of the other trees just for that light because we need that extra light in our dark side of the mountain house. <laughs> Always remember to manage your expectations when it comes to decorating and also the families. If your family doesn't um, want to go with no decorations, work with them, right? If you want a little bit, I think that's good too. I hope that uh, maybe you will like something sort of what we have with like the light of the trees, but not like overly decorated. This is the video I did about when I was decluttering and as I was decorating this year. And this is my Christmas playlist. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.